first, you know, uh, you know, our current Congressman Jeff Andrew, very disappointed personally uh, when he made his switch. Um, he had been a, a friend for many, many years, and uh, again, friendship supersedes uh, politics. But again, very, very dis disappointing uh, to, to see him make that switch, and also, uh, in my opinion, kind of change some of his views, some of his values in regards to uh, what you know, Democrats and what we have worked so hard many years to really bring into our community. Um, right now, that congressional race is, is actually a, a very hot topic, uh, not just here in Cumberland County, but across southern New Jersey, and apparently nationally. Um, I will tell you that this county, Cumberland County, democratically is 100% behind Amy Kennedy. Uh, there was a challenge in our primary, uh, but we have pulled together as one unit, as we should, and really supporting those that came out on top in that primary. Uh, I personally have had a couple of meetings with, with Amy Kennedy. I think she's going to be an outstanding congresswoman, and I think she will represent not just the entire district, but I think she'll represent Cumberland County extremely well when she's in Washington. Joe, some of the, the issues you think that she's championing in this race that matter to you and you think matter to the voters of the district? Um, I, I think our values and our thoughts and our concerns and what we need are, are parallel with what she's doing, uh, without a doubt. Um, her focus on education, her focus on you know mental illness and addiction, a very hot topic here in, in our county as it is nationally, especially going through the pandemic. So I think uh, resources that she could bring back to Washington to help support us there. Transportation, another issue here in Cumberland County, we really don't have public transportation. Uh, as a rural community, we really could use that. Uh, she's on, on board in regards to listening to our concerns. She's also uh, going to be very supportive as a congresswoman in regards to broadband. Uh, here in a rural area, uh, we do not have the connections that we should have. Our, our speed is very poor, especially in certain areas, which has really impacted virtual education. Uh, the digital divide that, that, that Corey Booker talks about at times, uh, we've met with him as well. That need is here, and again, she's, she's willing to champion that for us. Jeff Van Drew's allies talk about his effectiveness in working across the aisle. I spoke to two of his allies today, assembly people, McClellan and Simonson. And do you think that, and, and they say that, well, we don't know Amy Kennedy. What do you say to that, that those people who see Van Drew's effectiveness sort of transcending party lines? Um, interesting question. Uh, Max, I, I will tell you, you know, somebody has to get their start somewhere, and I think Amy's picked the right time to come out because of the value and the goals and the things that she's listening to from the constituents here in Cumberland County. Um, you know, Jeff's voting record, he's been, you know, he's going against, you know, Trump sometimes, and as his record indicates. Uh, but again, that, that, that whole change and that fledging, you know, his undying support, really, for me personally, uh, really maybe take a step back. Um, you want to be you know, loyal to a party, but you also want to make sure when you're elected, you've got to be a statesman or a stateswoman. And I think that's why things work so well here in Cumberland County. Across the line, with our to party, once we get in office, it's so important we work together and move forward. Unfortunately, what's going on in Washington today, and Jeff is, is part of that, we can't do that at the local level. Or, or things would truly crumble and really create chaos. So we can't let that happen. So again, I believe she's that person that will step forward and be that, that statesman that we need that will reach across the aisle and do what she needs to do to make sure it's in the best interest of the people that she represents. Joe, what are some of your challenges governmentally, particularly through the COVID-19 crisis? What are, what are you experiencing here in this county? And, and what are your particular governmental challenges? Well, obviously, the economy, uh, we're a little better positioned, as some of the local papers have said. Um, our numbers are about 14%, which is about the state average, which is very good for us here in Cumberland County. We were one of the last to recover from the economic uh, crisis back in 2008 and 2012. Uh, our emphasis on food processing and small manufacturing is helped carry us through here. We do have a lot of people that are unemployed slowly starting to see that that change. So that's one hurdle we've had to get over. Um, we've also had done a really good job, I think, in regards to the way we handle the pandemic here in Cumberland County. Our numbers are down uh, and are stable at the present time. So we continue to focus on that. Um, we've done a really, really good job in getting the message out. You know, our Board of Health and 
county, the city of Vinland has their board of health, have worked together to make sure the message is pushed out there. Uh, currently, we're trying to support the school districts. Uh, we've worked very hard with some of the you know, some of the different carriers to make sure that we could provide an option for that hot spot. Because again, that broadband that I mentioned earlier is, is very weak here in, in, in Wolfhamer County, as it is in Salem and others. So, 